Welcome to your family's upgraded camping experience because this is the Keystone Bullet 330 BHS. This beauty's 37 feet 6 inches, roughly 7,500 pounds dry, can sleep up to 10, and has a bunk room that you're going to be like, whoa, wait a minute. This isn't a travel trailer. This is like a fifth wheel setup because not only do you get a bunk room, you get an island kitchen. This is a bath and a half travel trailer and it's made by Keystone. So you know you're going to get some of those great innovations like the blade air distribution system for your AC. You're also going to get the color coded wiring. You're going to get the blow, the bow floor upgraded flooring and you're going to get the solar flex. Yep. Solar panel with a dragon lithium battery installed. Got to tell you, all the signs point to you taking this to your next vacation spot. What do you say we start right over here on the campsite? Opposing slides open up the living area, giving us this island kitchen right here. Beautiful decorative pressed surface countertop with the molded and rounded edges. I like how the manufacturers have gone to this because without the corners, there's no more catching clothes or worse, kids hitting their heads on the corners as they're running around playing around the island kitchen. More of that pressed surface countertop over here with your recessed three burner cooktop with the glass cover and your 16 inch Furion oven. Good space for prep, even better space for cooking. Storage underneath, thanks to the midnight Monterey decor doors and those oil bronze poles. Got more of that up top, plus your flush mounted Furion microwave here, which I gotta tell you, being one of those high output microwaves, this is a nice addition that really you won't experience until you get a chance to use it especially if you've used other RV microwaves. Some of them only go 800, 700, maybe 900 watts, looking at a thousand there. Very nice touch. Midnight Monterey decor on your Dometic fridge freezer combo. This is oversized. It's also gas electric with the automatic switch. And I like how they got my entertainment center here angled with the 32 inch TV on a swivel and a pullout arm with the backlit decor here on my storage doors up top. That's frosted glass inlay. And I just like how it just adds that ambiance to the room. You got your Furion AM FM command center under there with your component shelf, as well as a little storage shelf for you there as well. More storage underneath too, thanks to the doors. The one thing you're going to hear me say a lot is storage because you got a bunch of it here inside the 330 BHS. What you don't have carpet. Nope. PVC marine grade weave right here on your slide where you're going to have, I like this because gone is the jackknife sofa. Not only do you have the pull-out bed sleeper sofa here, you also have the armrest that lift up to give you some space, and they finally gave me cup holders. That, my friend, is a win if you're sitting there watching TV and need a place to put your beverage. Large panoramic windows with the solid wood balances. Once again, with that midnight Monterey decor, just continuing the flow all the way around the coach to the dream dinette that does reduce down into a sleeper with the plush and comfortable oversized cushions. Most RVs feature those cushions that are only about three inches thick or three and a half. These are four. So that does help a little bit with sleeping, making it a little bit more comfortable. As does the HVAC system in this. 15,000 BTU air conditioner, 30,000 BTU furnace, and a pass-through bathroom. This is what I like to call great separation of space. Because if you do have the kids sleeping and somebody needs to come in and shower, you're here in the master bedroom, door here, door there, gonna keep the sounds and the people from waking each other up. Neo angled shower here with the glass enclosure, skylight with fan, plus you got the angled vanity here. They, this used to be just a freestanding vanity last year. I like how it's now mounted to the wall. That same decor continues on the countertop too here, which is pressed surface. You got the bowl, you got the matte black feature on the faucet and the high rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Mirrored medicine cabinet, pocket door leading me into the master, where we have our queen size bed here nestled in the front cap. We even got that little decorative kind of slash slash chevron pattern going on there. More frosted glass in my storage up top. Mirrored wards on both sides with pull out drawers. You even got a laundry chute on the campsite. But what's really cool about this space is what's behind all of that. Not only do you have some really neat cubby storage. You got an additional shelf. You got USB charging as well as 110, and that is an inverted outlet, which means, yep, it's going to run off the power of the sun, thanks to those awesome solar panels that we have on top. Now, at the beginning, I did mention that the 330 BHS is an awesome bunk model. Saving that bunk room for last. Let's go check it out. This 
is something you won't find in a lot of travel trailers, especially at this weight and this length. 37 feet, six inches, we have a separate bunk room with double over double bunks back here. Storage underneath, solid mounted ladder. You got cubby storage as well as dual USB charging, windows for some good cross breeze. You even got a little entertainment shelf and entertainment center over there on the off camp wall. But I keep saying you're not gonna find this in most travel trailers. This to me is a fifth wheel addition. Pre-wired for a second AC up top, but this beauty at 37 feet, six inches, also has a half bath. That is an extremely cool addition that makes this 330 BHS, in my mind, if you're a family looking to get out and enjoy some entertainment, some upgraded amenities, but still be able to get into those sweet spot campgrounds that require you to be under 40 feet, but you can still sleep 10 people with good space, 330 BHS checks those boxes. Now, I got a couple of cool boxes to show you outside too, so what do you say we go take a little quick walk around? So here we are on the outside of the all new Keystone Bullet 330 BHS. Once again, 37 feet, six inches, roughly 7,500 pounds, can sleep up to 10, packed with features and amenities. Right up front, you're gonna see powered tongue jack as well as twin 20 pound LP tanks. This coach is seated on a 10 inch single welded frame, love that. Got my double Dragonfly lithium batteries here on the back, but a cool feature that they added a couple of years ago that I really like is the Giggy Box. That actually gives you access to the battery disconnect on the outside, and since it you do have the Solar Flex panels on top, you can choose just to have it charge the battery. Very nice feature. You even got a 10 amp quick connect over there if you want to add some additional solar panels and do the little quick hookup. You'll see that the pass through storage is not only finished, but continues the decor from the inside with that midnight Monterey scheme. You even have a pegboard here to help hang up anything that you need. And of course, the doors are magnetic and anti-slam with covered hinges. Sealed safety windows all the way around, extra large awning with LED light strip. And underneath, not only do you have a heated and enclosed underbelly, you got the PSX ones. Yep, automatic stabilization, love it. Solid step over step leading into the main entry point here. True fit slide, which means it's a complete seal all the way around the slide. Plus the bottom of the slide is insulated. Very nice little feature making this a good three season coach. Steel steps leading you into the bunk room here. Plus you got those 14 inch aluminum rims there on those Dexter Easy Lube axles with the extra wide berth, giving you some safety and security, more stability going down the road. And if you wanna set up some outside entertainment, got a spot right there on the slide with that key TV multi-source connection. But since it is a bunkhouse, and if you're gonna be able to sleep 10 people in this one, I like how they gave me the outside kitchen. To me, it should be standard. Once again, you got the magnetic anti-slam door, Got the Suburban two burner cooktop here, as well as some storage and the little mini fridge, thanks to Hot Point. Four by four sewer hose storage on the back. Plus you'll see you got the ladder mounted over the top and this beauty also comes backup camera ready. Now, as far as your tanks on the 330 BHS, you got uh, 60, 30, and 54. 60 gallon fresh, 30 gallon gray, and 54 gallon black because you do have the two bathrooms, you're gonna need the additional size. But I gotta tell you, 37 feet, six inches, looking at 7,500 pounds dry, can sleep up to 10. I'd say eight if you got adults, because the double over double bunks, the two pullouts there on the sleeper sofa, but 10 if you got the kids, maybe even more. If you're looking for something that size, that weight, that checks all the boxes with those features and amenities that the Keystone line is known for and that the bullet has thrown in this one, the 330 BHS should be at the top of your list. And the best part about it is, if you wanna pick up this beauty, you can pick it up today at your local Camping World.